Butter me up, boys. 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 Welcome to Who Said That? Five comedians armed with all we've got left at the moment, the discovery of a new favourite biscuit, the worry that this will never end, oh, and the knowledge of each other's terrible, terrible brains. Dialing in today are Finn Taylor, Gronya McGuire, Mark Watson, and the fifth member of the Stereophonics, Priya Hall. Um, Priya, I, I, I sort of took a punt there because... You're from Blackwood, and I think the Stereophonics are from Blackwood, but I know nothing about the Stereophonics, including how many members they are, and if they, any of their names, and if they are actually, are they from Blackwood? Yeah, they are. So in the spoons in Blackwood, there's lots of badly done paintings of the Stereophonics. So that's the only reason I know that, because if you go in there, it's Kelly Jones's face really badly done by an amateur Blackwood painter. A little bit of a risky joke, Oliver, because one of them died. Did one of them die? Oh, with a drummer. Drummer yeah. Stewart died a few years ago. Yeah. But there's still a there's still a current thing, right? They're still yeah, going. I'm, I'm just saying it makes it harder to know how many members there are. <laughs> but how many members are there? Can you name? Can 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 anyone like the Stereophonics are sort of a band that everyone has heard of? Finn. Well, there must be there must be more than one left, otherwise they'd be in in monophone, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Pierce Brosnan is from the same town as me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Irish dancing classes with my auntie. Did he? Yeah. When he was working out if he had skills in the performing arts. Yeah, he was. That was his. If you watch Mamma Mia really closely, you'll see that training kick in. <laughs> it's a shame he didn't bring that to the Bond role. More Irish, <laughs> Irish jigging. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you, Tim? Uh, Finn, most famous person uh, from your town? I went to the same school that Radiohead went to. Oh, in Ab Abingdon, was it? Or Oxford? Yeah, Abingdon. Uh, that's, that'll do. Yeah, that's quite a big one. Are, are they considerably? Are there pictures of them, like uh, like in Priya's Weatherspoons? Are there pictures no, of Thom? It's a public, it's a private school, so it's not that kind of environment where that sort of thing is encouraged. Um, <laughs> not like Spoons in Blackwood, okay. No, Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Spoons in Blackwood is much more aspirational than my private school, which 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 I, I think the fact that they weren't very good at cricket meant that they were not thought well of. Yeah. Put your guitars away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Austin, York. Um, Gronya, you are the only person who has not played this game. Good. I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm a dark horse. Um, how is that going to be to your advantage, please? I My plan is shock and awe. <laughs> <laughs> Very much what Kissinger, how Kissinger approached Cambodia, I plan to take the same method to this zoom panel show people well, will be like is she mad or is this planned they won't know they'll be scared that's when i'll attack you've been nicely on mock the week i think <laughs> uh finn do you feel like cambodia <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that that's the question i can answer yeah i feel like <laughs> I, feel, I feel economically ravaged because <laughs> the capacity has been killed 40 years ago <laughs> Lovely. Well, uh, what a uh, lovely range of conversations we've had in the preamble. Uh, I say we play the game. Each contestant will take it in turn to ask a question. The answers will then be texted uh, directly to me and only me. I will read them out and the questioner will receive points for every answer they pair with an answerer. Everyone, good luck. Gronya Maguire, uh, you don't need it, Kissinger. Uh, Mark Watson, can I have your first question Please. Yes, you can. What is the most on-brand thing you can remember a parent or teacher saying about you when you were a kid? Do you sort of mean, Mark, what you're like now? Something which, uh, if you said it on stage, people would be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, something which is um, something which appears to have been prophetic of uh, the way you are now. Yeah. Were you drinking red wine at school? Let's not make this about me, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, I wasn't. No, although I was in a church choir and you'd get it on a Sunday at communion, of course, and you do wonder uh, about the long-term effects of that on my palate. Yeah, do you know what? I think it had a long-term effect on my palate because um, 
going to Catholic church when I was a kid and tasting communion wine uh, for the first time, I think is that genuinely the thing that made me uh, teetotal, just tasting that stuff and just going, <laughs> oh, this is absolutely not for me. It's not quite quality wine, but it seems to have acted as a really, like, uh, sort of slow-burning tease on me because you've got, like, that much every Sunday. If you do that to someone for five years, they are going to wonder what it would be like to help themselves. <laughs> Mark Watson, I have got uh, several answers for you. Okay, so uh, yeah. what is the most on-brand thing you can remember a teacher or parent saying about you when you were a kid? Uh, answer number one is that I was disrespectful and lazy for not writing a rap about the perils of smoking in drama class. I stand by it. Um, answer number two, uh, pass the Guinness or I'll take away your mash. <laughs> Um, and answer number three, why are you crying? <laughs> so there you go. There are three answers there. Um, what's leaping out of you? Have you, are you sort of made a connection already? Well, the problem is um, the Guinness and mash seems to be a, a lure towards Gronje, but a lure is maybe exactly what it is. I mean, either that's a kind of quite crudely root one way to make me think that was Gronje, or it just is Gronje being quite rude one about the fact that she's Irish. And those are the decisions which this game obliges us to make, of course, Mark. Ab um, absolutely. Which of these people is A, root one, and B, seemingly really chuffed with the fact that they were root one <laughs> based purely on the shots that we've got? The thing is, I think because because <laughs> it's Gronje's first game, I'd normally think that that's, that is her answer and she's not yet got into the habit of being... Uh, deceitful, but I, she's got in my head a bit with this Cambodia business to some extent. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The, the Kissinger thing has unnerved me. I, I'm trying to work out what he would do. Um, have you had him yet? No. Uh, next series. No, yeah. Oh, he must be very old now. Old crap. Yeah, well, he did uh, uh, He did big fat quiz and so couldn't commit to this. So uh, we're <laughs> yeah. We're, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Yeah, my gut is pre uh, the... Um, the crying, Finn refuses to write a rap, Gronje is the Guinness and MASH. Those seem like the most logical answers, but again, the logical answers can be a trap. But if you ignore the logical answers and try and be too clever, then you're wrong. You feel like more of a twat. So on that basis, I think I'll go for that set of answers. Brilliant. Well, uh, you got none right. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I take a while doing that. Uh, it just felt appropriate. Yep, you absolutely got uh, none right. Uh, zero. Um, Priya Hall was disrespectful and lazy for not writing a rap about the pebbles of smoking. We what were, were you smoking already at the time? And no, so. Um... I found out recently that it's not normal for your school to make you write a rap about every single thing you learn in school. <laughs> um, and uh, in about year eight, I'd had enough. And it's the only time I've ever had detention was refusing to write a rap. And it happened multiple times. <laughs> um, Gronje, just as a little tip about how to play the game, uh, when you are um, looking for the answers to the questions and see who answered which keep an eye on their screen um and when you are trying to deceive someone keep an eye on your screen because finn taylor's utter look of joy when mark watson went route one guinness and math was so incredible like it was absolutely amazing. That's what we call in the uh, who's had that world, the Joe McNally. That's frustrating. But I was looking at I was looking at Gronje, of course, at the time. Typical. I've paid in, for in, in Mark's defense. Maybe I just am a Rouge One person. Some <laughs> well, people are Rouge One, but that's been I, true I've done, to themselves. What I've done is root out Mark's inherent anti Irish prejudice. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Uh, can you just say Mark Watson? Mark That's Watson's. Funny. No, I think we'll just leave it ambiguous. I mean, <laughs> it is a sort of potential pitfall of this game that you get uh, unmarked as a racist and so close to Christmas as well. <laughs> um, so, uh, Mark, you got no points. Uh, that, is, that is absolutely clear, Mark. But I'm able to give a bonus point, and I am giving it to uh, the shit eating, the shit eating grin of Finn Taylor. <laughs> uh, just so pleased with his role as the provocateur on this episode. It's very hard to provoke people when you're literally banned from leaving the house, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> My lifeblood. I can see why you got in all that trouble online, Finn. <laughs>
<laughs> so, uh, Gwanyu Maguire has zero points. Priya Hall has zero points. Mark Watson has zero points. But Finn Taylor has uh, has one point, uh, or pint, as Gwanyu would pronounce it, as we go into <laughs> question number two, which is Priya Hall. Priya Hall, your question, please. Okay, my question is, what is your useful skill in an apocalypse scenario? Priya uh, lives in Wales, grew up in Wales. Uh, you're essentially in the apocalypse now. I had a feeling that was coming. We're always in an apocalypse scenario, thanks well, to Well, I was just about to say that. It, I mean, everything that we've been going through recently, it feels like Wales has been training for, uh, for centuries. We've been ready. <laughs> I've been food hoarding since I was a toddler. <laughs> what would your skill be in an apocalypse scenario, please, Priya? Oh, I don't have any or many skills. Like I said, food hoarding, I'm very good at that. Um, and embroidery, but I'm not sure I could bar that into anything useful in an apocalypse scenario. I'm good at hiding. I'll just hide. Hiding stuff or hiding yourself? Myself. Myself. Um, I have got three answers for you. Uh, they've come in quick. So these are three people who feel uh, like they've got the skills uh, that pay the bills. Answer number one. I am naturally quite pessimistic, so I could provide perspective by reminding people of the ways it could still get even worse. Answer number two, passive aggression. Answer number three, I have no moral compass, so I would not hesitate to snatch eggs from a five-year-old. Christ alive, these are all so bleak. Um, <laughs> Jesus. It's sort of a downbeat question in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair point. Um, I'm going to say early doors that Finn seems like the type of person who would gladly see legs from a five year old. Apocalypse or no? Apocalypse or no? Why are kids being put in charge of eggs during the apocalypse? <laughs> well, apocalypse, Gronia. Who knows? Yeah. Apocalypse the most fragile of foods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say natural pessimism, Mark Watson, stealing eggs off babies, Finn Taylor, and uh, passive aggression, Gronje. Five-year-olds. Five-year-olds. <laughs> He's not a monster. <laughs> What's a baby with an egg? What's <laughs> <laughs> holding that? Um, is that your final answer, Priya? That's my final answer. I mean, it genuinely feels that these answers could have been the same answers to what would your teacher say that was very <laughs> on brand about you? Because you got three out of three. I mean, oh. absolutely. Oh. Finn, Finn Taylor is playing a very interesting game by having no poker face or poker <laughs> texts whatsoever. <laughs> I have no light and shade. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe you're saying that, and then that will that will be a tactic for later on in the game, uh, where the shade does come in. Um, Bronya is so passively aggressive <laughs> that I've never seen the aggression. It's so passive. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. Oh, that don't... was very good. Oh, I got it. Oh, I see that. Um, and Mark Watson's, I'm quite uh, naturally quite pessimistic, so I could provide perspective by reminding people of the ways it could still get even worse. Genuinely feels like the title of his 2021 Edinburgh show. <laughs> oh, we're still doing that, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> Priya, three out of three. Absolutely nailed it. And you do uh, get the chance when you get three out of three to give a bonus point. Uh, is there anyone uh, of your competitors, uh, colleagues, peers that you feel deserves a bonus point or maybe give a bonus point to the person who you think will definitely not challenge you to the win this game, Finn Taylor? Is there anyone that you feel deserves that bonus point? Um, I'm going to give it to Grania for her Christmas tree. Oh. You're gonna it's lovely. <laughs> Finn Taylor. Yes. Um, this is your question. Question number three. Because you got the bonus point earlier, weirdly, you could go into the lead now if you got all three out of three with this. Okay. So, uh, Finn, can I take your question, please? If you were the editor of the Sun newspaper, what would you replace page three with? Um, it's obviously quite presumptive in that you would replace page three. Um, I personally would double down. 
what would you replace page three with if you were editor of the sun um and would you just replace page three and not the rest of the newspaper <laughs> no i put page three on every page <laughs> it, would be, it would be you know the woman from total recall oh yeah that? yeah the free boobed what oh, every time is there still page? I mean, obviously there's still a page three, but is there still like boobs in the sun? Do they still do it? They must. I mean, I don't read the sun, but I think it's I still. Think, I think <laughs> from what people tell me, <laughs> I don't think there's nips anymore. Ah. But I think they still use page three as the wait, kind of wait till first of January, mate. The nips will come back. Do you <laughs> think? When we've left the EU. The page three girls used to give quite snippy, snappy and quite insightful thoughts on political events. Do yeah. you think there's a correlation between axing page three and the Brexit vote? Like if the girls had been like, do you know what, guys, we all have an emotional connection with Europe, but on a trade level, we do need a strong, you know, relationship with the biggest single market. If that was in people's heads all the time with like boobs, could that have swum the vote? We'll never know. Well, it's too late for them to do that. We've lost that in every way possible. No <laughs> nips and no Europe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have got uh, three answers <laughs> for you, uh, Finn Taylor. Um, answer number one, a collage of all the dick pics received by page three models with corresponding names and addresses, tit for tat. Um, answer number two, a muriel of middle-aged women who have recently divorced and went on to get a degree in the subject of their childhood dreams. <laughs> Answer number three, I take it out and go straight from two to four, like in hotels where they don't have a 13th floor. Mm. Oh, these are these are all very good. good and one of them is genuinely a good idea. I also enjoyed you. I presume you meant mural, but you pronounced it mural because you were thinking of woman. <laughs> uh, no, I'm reading it. Uh, I'm, I'm reading it as it's written. Ah. Right. Well, I apologize. A uh, mural of middle aged women. I've now got to add some. I'm going to say hotel rooms is uh, Watson. I'm going to say dick pics is Gronya, and the mural is Priya. Have you locked that down, Finn Taylor? Yes. Good quiz, Admin. Of it. Thank you very much. Uh, Three thousand episodes of Deal or No Deal. Uh, <laughs> Edmund's taught me how to do uh, the Jeopardy. Finn Taylor. Is that your final answer? Yes, again. Yep. <laughs> God, Edmonds is so good because he doesn't over-egg the pudding either. I over-egg the pudding. Edmonds didn't teach you to uh, let the tension slowly diffuse, did he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Finn Taylor, you got one right. Uh, you got Mark Watson right. I'm an open book to these people. And then you basically just got Gronje and Priya around the wrong way. Deliberate Muriel mistake? Oh, yeah. Genius. Clever. And Priya, so you you are replacing just one picture with an entire collage of dick pics. I think if you did a full page dick pic, it would be a bit affronting. And also, I imagine there are enough dick pics to be able to do that for at least 20 years, <laughs> the collage of them. That is an absolute uh, fair point. And when you say collage, do you do you mean sort of just like a grid, or do you mean actually cut them out, glue, <laughs> like some sort of <laughs> primary? The editor of the Sun has to print them out, cut them out, and then paste them, maybe on a plate like you do in primary school, <laughs> and then. If it's the editor of the Sun, they should do a justice for the '96 in dick pics. <laughs> 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 uh, Simon, that's the bit we're cutting out, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> every, every time I do anything good. <laughs> good. Um, okay, so uh, Finn Taylor, uh, you got one right. Um, I get to give uh, bonus points, and I'm going to give a bonus point uh, to Gronje because I do not know and probably will never know if she meant Muriel or Muriel. I don't think she'll ever admit it. Uh, 
Yeah, still I don't, don't know. Myself. I don't know myself. <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> but uh, Mark Watson currently has zero points. I have no points at all, Oliver. This is, I mean, it's becoming an issue. Oh, I think it's been an issue right from the beginning of the show, Mark. Uh, uh, Finn and Gronya have two points each, and Priya Hall has uh, three points. Um, and we go uh, into the final question proper with Gronya Maguire. Can we take your question, please, Gronya? If you were a character in a sitcom, what would your catchphrase be? Have you ever done that thing where you've sort of been asked to write a sitcom about your life, about an Edinburgh show? Um, have you been asked to do that, Gronya? Close. So a friend wrote a sitcom and there was this part and it was like a best friend psychic and she was insane. This absolute loser, crazy woman. And I read it and then she said, oh, so obviously that part is for you. <laughs> And then I had to go through loads of script meetings where they're like, I mean, that Shona is just a loser. She's just, you know, like a pathetic loser, can't get a boyfriend, deluded. And I was like, mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> well, I have the range. <laughs> I have got three answers for you. Um, answer number one, Gronje. This is all in caps, this one. <laughs> I told you not to trust Muriel. Answer number two. Butter me up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be unprofessional, but that's the, that's the sitcom of the three that I'd want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and answer number three... That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> that will have already been used. In <laughs> yeah, that feels like a catchphrase already. Um, uh, so what are you going for? Muriel, okay. butter or me problem? I'm thinking like a casting director right now. And I'm thinking, butter me up, boys. I can see... Mark doing that in quite no, a light. No, I can't. No I can't. Can. I can't. No one in the, I mean, sorry, I don't want to do this because I know the answers, but no one in the world has ever pictured Mark Watson saying the phrase, butter me up, boys. Until I, now, Olver, until it becomes my catchphrase. Yeah. The I only time Mark back. Watson has ever said that was during his Footlights audition. That is the uh, only time... I... I shouldn't think the fella from Friends was famous for going, could it be any bigger until Friends? This is the whole point. I've still got a career ahead of me, pal. Don't shoot my catchphrase down before it's even had wings to fly. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry. I just don't see you as a butter me up boys person. That was all. Fine, fine. But, but Gronya does. Gronya yeah. does, and she's the casting director. You're clipping his wings. I can see you in that. A sexually ambiguous metrosexual. Butter me up, boys. Oh. <laughs> All right. What about this, Mark? Butter me up, boys. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I can like it. Now, eh? How about now? It's worse if you don't do it camp, isn't it? If you just say it. <laughs> Butter me up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Crack on. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, boys. <laughs> um... Uh, and you can't see you can't see Finn or Priya saying "butter me up, boys." No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be realistic. Just I wouldn't. It just I wouldn't feel it. Not authentic. I would say Finn. I'm dealing. What's the what's the Muriel line? Uh, the Muriel line was, "I told you not to trust Muriel." I can see at a, at an angry, like the end of a very politically fraught Edinburgh show. That being like the final bish before um, he thanks everybody for coming. I might so... just write that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that leaves you with 59 minutes to write. <laughs> and so that leaves uh, Priya Hall with, that sounds like a you problem and not a me problem. Yeah, like the sassy best friend. Very much someone else's problem. Yeah. Um, are you locking that down? It's locked. I don't need 50-50. I'm not going to the audience. I will not ring a friend. They are my answers. Um, 
You got one right. Uh, you got Priya Hall right. Uh, Priya, I mean, that genuinely, like, that was the one that sounded most like a sitcom. I mean, it is something I say in my day-to-day -day life um, because I refuse to deal with any of my own problems. <laughs> it's not my responsibility. Um, Gronje, you got one right. And you just got uh, you just got these two uh, swapped over. Muriel and Butter should have been in the, uh, in the other way. Uh, Mark Watson, now that we know the answer, you're never saying butter me up, boys, are you, Watson? Uh, firstly, I feel like I defended it hard there because I wanted to, you know, finally come down the right side of one of these rounds. Um, but yeah, certainly now the game side of it's behind us. I was surprised that Grania immediately pegged me to, to that catchphrase. Yeah. In the uh, can I just say, did you genuinely just use the phrase pegged me after saying butter me up, boys? I think uh, the thing is, uh, none, of us, none of us have been out for a while, Mark. Um, <laughs> As I say, you know me, butter me up, boys. <laughs> uh, Finn uh, Taylor, are you re are you re regretting uh, coining this phrase now that Mark Watson seems to have taken it and run? No, that's all you want from your catchphrase is you want an actor to just run with it and <laughs> what he's done. Uh, not at all how I envisaged it being used, but um, I like it. Quite it's good difficult. writing. I thought it was really good writing. Thing. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been what I've been working on. Uh, Gronje gets one point, uh, and I am going to uh, to give a bonus point, and it has to go in this direction uh, because of the catchphrase. I'm going to give Mark Watson one. I'm going to he's buttered up. I'm going to give him one. One bonus point <laughs> for Mark Watson. I'm going to it again. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mark Watson has got one point. Finn Taylor has got two points. Uh, Priya Hall and Gronje Maguire have got three points each as we go into uh, the final round, which is my question. Uh, basically, uh, there will be a group created, Gronje, and everyone sends his answers to that group so I can't see them, and one of you will read them out. Um, uh, Priya Hall, if you could read out all of the answers, that would yes. be absolutely lovely. Um, and the question is, if you were to open a pub, what would it be called? Uh, Mark Watson definitely cannot win. No, but it would be nice to come away with another point. And, uh, well... Um, can, I, can I win? Um, you can... Do you know what? Let's give... If you fool me, you get three points. Now it's uh, That way, four. everyone can win. Butter me up, boys! <laughs> <laughs> That's going to change my answer now. If everyone can win. Yep, everyone can win. Oh, oh, Watson's genuinely looks excited now. <laughs> Look, it's, it's a grandstand finish, over. Noel Evans has taught you well. Ready? Okay, so this is, if you were to open a pub, what would it be called? Uh, you have four answers. Okay, the first one, uh, the Volvo and the Volkswagen. The 9-11 in... Waterstones West, Waterstones Westfield, and JD Weatherspoons brackets, but not evil. I'm going Volvo and Volkswagen. Uh, she smiled, Gronje Maguire. Um, I'm going. What was the second one? The nine eleven in. Um, I'm going uh, Finn Taylor. It's a not. It's a. It's a fun name for a pub. It's an absolutely fun name uh, for an establishment that sells alcohol. Waterstones uh, Westfield. Uh, I'm going uh, Mark Watson uh, because uh, he puts in the name of a bookshop. We then talk about books. We talk about his book that acts as uh, advertising. Nailed that. Um, and then the last one, Weatherspoons, but not evil. You've already mentioned Weatherspoons. Priya Hall. Those are all my answers. None of you have fooled me. Thank you very much. Joint winners, Gronje and Priya, because they've all got right. three. Oh, no, no, you... no one else <laughs> fools me. No one else gets a point because I have got this right. Priya. You got two right. Oh. 9-11, definitely Finn Taylor. <laughs> it's 9-11 in. 9-11 in. in. Not the 9-11 in. That would, that would be... Case for this, is too, I was too happy with it not to play it, even though I knew it would give me away. <laughs> this is my problem in microcosm with this game. <laughs>
Um, who was the other one I got right? Uh, mine, the where the spoons one. I do talk about spoons a lot. I miss it. Yeah, no, don't blame you. Don't blame you. I like the app. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fan of the app. I don't like I don't like uh, Thingy Martin, but I like the app. Yeah, a great shame. Better with a pub around it, though, isn't it? <laughs> it, it is better with a pub around. <laughs> um, and so the other two, I just got round the wrong way. Yeah. So the Volvo and the Volkswagen was Marx, and Waterstones Westfield was Gronius. I was fortunate that, that someone else went for a book-related one so that you could assume that I was um, so crude as to try and shoehorn a mention of my book into something which hadn't even crossed my mind. Now we've had that mention anyway, and I've got the point. Butter me up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you bursting into the Volvo and Volkswagen. <laughs> Butter me up, boys. <laughs> And it does mean that Mark Watson ends this game in second place. Not too bad. All I needed was a change of the rules during the game. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Finn Taylor ends the game in uh, in last place. Priya uh, is what? on. What's the matter? <laughs> Did you be disappointed? Emotions run high in this game. I was disappointed. <laughs> I thought I was on track to win it. <laughs> The, I was gonna, I was gonna say the Virgin wins it, but I don't think I'm happy with that. Oh God, Watson's logged off because he's yeah. not won. Oh, Watson's dear. genuinely gone. He's so competitive. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, goodbye to everyone. But I'll include Mark Watson um, and then Finn. If you could, if you could pretend to be Watson, uh, that would be uh, that'd be quite handy. So. Uh, yeah, just uh, just imagine you're Mark you Watson. Me, you want me to pretend to be Mark Watson? Just to say goodbye, yeah. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, Finn Taylor's gone! No, I didn't mean it. Oh, no. Okay. So... You plead yourself. Oh, he's back. Well, I didn't actually get to see the uh, the reaction to that joke, which is quite frustrating. It was good. It was, it was really... Funny. Oh, hold on. Watson's back as well. Yes, uh, elderly laptop there. The battery went from like twenty six percent to zero um, very quickly. It does that. But sometimes. you missed a lot of good bants when you were gone. Yeah, uh, people say that to me a lot. Yeah, Watson went away and just covered his legs in butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I should have. If I had the presence of mind, I would have that come would have been the screen with butter on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thank you all for uh, for playing. Uh, thank you very much, Mark Watson. Thank you very much, Finn Taylor. Thank you very much, Priya Hall. But making her debut appearance on uh, Who's at That and winning uh, a round of applause for Gronya Maguire. Well done, Gronya. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, Who's at That. We will see you again. Thank you. Goodbye.